Hello grade 10 mabuhay. So again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario and this is the part 3 of our discussion on our topic on arithmetic sequence. So, uh, part 3 na siya. Na-discuss ko na yung part 1 and part 2. So, na-discuss ko na sa inyo kung ano yung end term ng arithmetic sequence, yung definition ng arithmetic sequence, yung common difference, and yung process ng pag-solve kung paano natin makukuha yung iba't ibang terms sa arithmetic sequence. So, our topic for today is simply all about the arithmetic means. So, meron ba tayong dalawang remaining topics? Yung itong pangatlo ay yung arithmetic mean, yung pangapat ay yung sum of arithmetic sequence. So, I will be creating another set of video for the sum of arithmetic sequence kasi medyo mahabang discussion din siya. So, when we talk about arithmetic means, by definition, arithmetic means is the terms between any two non-consecutive non terms of an arithmetic sequence. Ibig sabihin dito, pag sinabi natin arithmetic mean, ito yung nasa gitna. The reason why hindi uh, uh, terms between any two. Ibig sabihin, non-consecutive terms. Uh, yung term doon sa dalawang term na hindi magkasunod. Kaya siya non-consecutive. When we say consecutive, magkasunod na numbers. So, kapag non-consecutive, hindi magkasunod. So, any two terms doon sa ating sequence na hindi magkasunod, okay, yung nasa gitna niya, yun yung tinatawag nating arithmetic means. Okay, so, let's say for example, uh, dito sa ating given na 17, 10, 3, negative 4, negative 11, and negative 18, between 10 and negative 18, there are 3 arithmetic means. Kung titignan nyo, ayan, kung titignan nyo yung example natin, diba? 10, 3, negative 4, negative 11, and negative 18. Sa ating, uh, sa pagitan ng 10 at negative 18, meron tayong tatlong arithmetic means. Ano-ano yon? We have 3, negative 4, and negative 11. O, sa atin namang 17 at negative 4, meron tayong dalawang arithmetic means, and that is 10 and 3. So, lagi nyo tatandaan, when we talk about arithmetic means, dito kadalasan given yung first and last term. Kadalasan ganun yung cases, but not all the time. Okay, because it is any two non-consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence, getting yung middle nila. Okay. So, find 3 arithmetic means between 8 and 14. So, our sequence must look like 8 blank 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 14. Kasi, diba, sabi dun sa question, we are going to look for the 3 arithmetic means between 8 and 14. Ibig sabihin nun, sa pagitan ng 8 ay 4 at 14, meron tayo nga hanaping tatlong missing na terms. So, in order to find the means, we need to know the common difference. We can use our formula to find it. Okay, so if you will be able, if you are going to notice, hindi natin uh, makukuha yung ating common difference uh, simply by observing it. Why? Kasi wala naman tayong consecutive or magkasunod na term. So, wala tayong isusubtract. Okay, so ang unang task natin ay malaman natin yung ating common difference. Again, in arithmetic means, ang una nating dapat malaman ay ang ating common difference kasi hindi siya given. Okay, andun pa rin tayo sa ating example. So, ang uh, the first thing that we need to do ay i-identify natin yung given. Yung a sub 1 natin ay 8. Yung a sub 5 natin ay 14. Okay, kasi pang ilan siya? Pang lima siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, a sub 5 is 14. Yung n natin is 5. Okay, so gagamitin natin yung ating a sub n na a sub 5. The next step that we need to do is to uh, this, uh, substitute our values. So, we are given the n term of arithmetic sequence which is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Dito sa example natin ngayon, nauna lang yung d natin. Okay? In commutative property of multiplication, kahit magkabaligtad yung dalawang numbers, we will be able to get the same answer. Okay? By substitution, our a sub n 
So we are going to use a sub 5. a sub 5 is 14. Equals our a sub 1 is 8 plus d, kasi hindi pa natin alam yung ating common difference, yung n natin ay 5 minus 1 using the formula. So 14 equals 8 plus d times 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, so the next step we are going to do ay isusubtract natin si 8 kay 14. Yun yung tinatawag nating transposition method or additive inverse. Okay, Maga, ano yung ia-add natin? Ano yung ia-add natin kay 8 para mawala siya? Kasi ang hinahanap lang natin ay yung ating D. So, una natin siya ika-cancel. Okay, mag a tayo sa kanya ng negative 8 para maging 0 na si ating 8. So, kung ano ginawa natin sa kanan, gagawin din natin sa kaliwa. So, kung nag-add tayo ng negative 8 dito sa kanan, mag a din tayo ng negative 8 kay 14. So, that's simply subtracting 8 kay 14. So, 14 minus 8 is 6. So, ang natira na lang natin ay d times 4 and that is 4d. Okay. We are going to divide both sides by 4 kasi ang hinahanap lang natin si d and they are product of 4d. So, para makancel natin si 4d, we are going to divide both sides by 4. And that is simply 1.5 because 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. So our common difference is 1.5. The next thing that we need to do is i-add na lang natin yung ating common difference each term para makuha natin yung next term. Okay, kasi diba yun naman ang definition ng arithmetic sequence. In order for, uh, for us to find the next term, we are going to add our common difference to the previous term. Okay, so... So, to find our means, we just add 1.5 starting with 8. So, 8 plus 1.5 is 9.5. 9.5 plus 1.5 is 11. And 11 plus 1.5 is 12.5. 12.5 plus 1.5 is 14. So, kapag... Okay, so that concludes our topic for the arithmetic means. Uh, uh, stay put lang kayo kasi... Uh, yung sa ating learners module sa K-12 Mathematics 10, magpo-provide ako doon ng mga, ng mga activities with solution, complete solutions and answers on arithmetic means. Okay, so uh, feel free to watch and do not forget to like and subscribe on my channel. And feel free to ask if you have question about arithmetic means. Thank you for watching. Good day and God bless.